thank you for joining me again for another match. I first want to ask you what you say to people who believe that the defense team is just too confident. I don't know that we're uh, too confident. I think that to be a defense lawyer, to stand up in front of a jury and to handle a, a high profile case like this, you have to have a certain amount of confidence um, just, just so that you don't project any problems when you're in front of the jury. But I don't know that we're too confident. Ultimately, it's what the jury thinks of the case. It's not what we think of the case. I think we want to present a positive image because we believe that our client is actually innocent. I know you disagree. I don't have a but, good opinion. Well, for our, in our matches here, yes, I take a side to challenge you because the jury is not hearing all, all the, the truth. But we'll get to that. Jury is hearing all the truth. Uh, Juries decide cases based on admissible evidence. Admissible evidence is what at least you know they what? decide. Well, the jury decides what the truth is. The jury decides what the evidence shows that's before them, not necessarily the truth. And you say the jury will, will decide a case based on admissible evidence. You know what? The evidence at the beginning of this case two years ago was very different from the evidence now because right. what was admissible two years ago, what was inadmissible two years ago, is now admissible. Right. So, so the, the jury, so the jury is hearing more, and what's now admissible is uh, evidence that the esteemed Judge White, who I believe is an expert on your network, found to be inadmissible because it was unreliable. Are you questioning his judgment now? No, I'm not, because I wasn't at that hearing, and I didn't see how Kristen Anderson did on the stand and how Susan Doman did on the stand, but I saw them in the courtroom here, and I thought they did pretty well. Okay. Didn't you? No. Why? Well, I, again, it's for the jury to comment on the witnesses. We're prohibited from commenting specifically about witnesses under the rules here, but there are problems with their testimony. When people say that they had conversations and they describe those conversations in great detail, and then they say, Oh, you know what? It turns out I wasn't there. That wasn't where the conversation took place. But but the words that were said, I still remember. You know, that That's just Mary doesn't Parks. sound believable. That's the nursing student, Mary Parks. I was talking about Kristen Anderson. Well, let's talk about Susan Doman. She got hammered on Cross about a book I think movie gonna, contract. I think you're going to find out that Ms. Anderson maybe wasn't living there like she said she was for as long as she said she was. But but we'll wait. This will give you something to look forward to. But well, that didn't come out. Well, Why you, didn't you do that? Well, because you have to put on other witnesses to show that prior witnesses may not have been telling the truth. Why didn't you just cross-examine her on it? She was cross-examined on it, and she said, this is how long I lived here, and, and I was paying rent and so forth, and I think you're going to find out from a witness later on that maybe that wasn't true. Well, she knows when she closed on her house, and it was November 25th, 2003, and she moved out on that day. Now, Susan Doman... On Thanksgiving. Oh, just before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was a few days later. I looked. Uh, Susan Doman was really hammered on cross-examination about a book movie contract from 2009, as though that affects her testimony today. The contract that's not even effective anymore. It Why? is effective. It no, is effective. Not. The contract had a provision in it that kept it in effect until after the trial at, uh, at the um, agent's option, and the agent has never sent her any documentation canceling the contract. Susan Doman claims, I said, oh, I don't want to be bound by this anymore. I said, I think I sent an email. She can't produce the email. We've never seen the email. I agree that it might not, on its face, affect what she said previously, but it shows that she wants to profit from her own sister's death. What about wanting to help other people learn from her sister's domestic abuse? Well, if that was what she wanted, I would think the contract would say that. Instead, the contract says that it will be a colorful portrayal. And the contract says, and, I, and, and this is in evidence, the contract says that the movie is supposed to focus on Susan Doman and be from Susan Doman's perspective. Because they bought her rights, because Kathleen's gone and they can't get Kathleen's story. So of course it's from Susan Doman. They buy her rights, her story, and it's uh, her, about her sister's life from Susan's perspective. If I was going to sell Beth Karras's story, I would not sell... You don't know sell, enough about me. You can't sell thank, my story. Thank God. But <laughs> Take that I, back. <laughs> if I was going to sell Beth Karras's story, I would not say I'm going to sell Beth Karras's story from Steve Greenberg's perspective. I would sell Beth Karras's story, and they would tell the story as if it were in the first you, person, not not in the third no. person like one of these no, TV some, sitcoms 
where How I Met Your Mother, where they tell it from a third no, person off, perspective. Well, let's not, we're getting off track, but they were auctioning her rights because she's the sister. You don't know enough about me. You couldn't sell my story. Anyway, okay, let me ask you. But I it, know I'd get a lot of money for it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> is it the defense's position that this was, the death of Kevin Savio was an accident? It was an accident only. Or are you also going to argue even if you believe it's a homicide, Drew Peterson didn't do it? Uh, that you would have to ask Mr. Lopez, but and, and I don't want to get into exactly what our strategy is, but I think that all of the evidence, you're going to find out all the credible evidence, is it was an accident. Because people are writing in to us, viewers are writing in, wondering why Maniachi couldn't be considered a suspect, the boyfriend. I mean, they had a fight. He wasn't around that weekend. You know, he was home alone the night that she's killed. You know, why, well, but why didn't you come... He, he might be considered a suspect at the end of the case. He might, he might not. I, I think that's left for closing argument. The idea that, that Joe Lopez, who did a great job, I thought, on Maniachi and the way he approached it, the idea that he's going to ask him a question and Mr. Maniachi is all of a sudden going to break down in the witness stand and go, you know what, I killed her. You know, that, that's that Perry Mason no, moment no that we all want. That, but you didn't even ask him if he killed her. Nobody asked him. Well, what do you think he would have said? No. But you ask him anyway, no? Right. I, I don't, so I me, wouldn't have. You touched on how the, a trial is uh, basically a search for the truth under admissible evidence. Like, why shouldn't the jury know that Drew Peterson had a pattern of threatening his wife? Wife number two, you fought to keep it out and it's out. Vicki Connolly, he said he could kill her and make it look like an accident. The jury's not gonna hear that. It didn't happen. Wife number three, he could kill her and make it look like an accident. State says he did it. Wife number four, he could kill her and make her disappear. Many believe he did it. Why can't the jury know there's a pattern here with this man? Well, I haven't heard wife number four, he could kill her and make her disappear. I thought I read that. I don't think that, that anyone says that he ever said that. Uh, Vicki Conley never said anything until years later. And again, things are remote. We don't, we don't convict people based on patterns of evidence. We convict people on it's actual evidence because we don't convict people based on rumor and we don't have trials that are mini trials. We try. Pattern evidence is routinely admitted at trials. It is. It's pattern evidence that's relevant, not that's from 15 or 20 years beforehand. We're trying to convict people. I can kill you and make fairness. it look like an accident isn't relevant? Well, it's going to come in a uh, when it comes to Miss Savio, I think the jury's already heard that. Shouldn't they hear that he did that before? Threatened it? I don't think so. I don't think anyone believed that he did that before. I think that's why it was kept out. No, it was kept out because it was prejudicial and remote, not because it wasn't believable. Well, I'll, I think we differ on that. Really? We do. No, I mean, you. it really was kept out because it, it wasn't I think believable? it was kept out because it was remote, prejudicial, and not reliable. It's, it's remote and prejudicial. Point. Okay, not reliable. All right, I don't know if I agree with you.